What it is, YouTube? It's your boy QB here. I've been asked, to, well, I was going to do this anyway, but the um, Azeron gaming keypad video to how to set it up. I'm going to do that right now. You know, first things first is going to the Azeron.eu. Usually in your package, you will get a, um, a slip. If y'all seen in my unboxing video, you got a slip. It tells you to get, you know, to download. You go to the, the website and you want to go here to um downloads on the right hand corner and then you want to download this azeron software this is the app this one i have it gives you everything the full 360 joystick that you know everything that basically what you need don't upgrade the firmware for it if the firmware i don't know if, i don't even know if i upgraded my firmware but i think i'm sure it upgrades the firmware when you download the software if not download you know the latest firmware and go ahead and install it I mean, it tells you to update history, all kinds of extra, you know, hearsay stuff that you need. And so once you download it, you know, install it. It's going to come in a zip folder like this. It's going to be right here. Azeron setup. Double click on it. Go through the process. And, you know, and then you'll be able to plug it in. So you plug it in. I'm not going to show you that because, I mean, just plug it in USB. Software is right here. This is the software. They give you a dark theme. You can have the white theme, Oof. lefty layout. You know, if you got a lefty, you know, a lefty uh, Azeron, you got different profiles you can do. You can export old profile. I mean, somebody else's profiles. I mean, import somebody else's profiles that you need. You can export your own so you can share with your friends or anybody else that has this software. I'll probably be doing the same thing for my PUBG once I get used to it. This is for the XIM uh, firmware. People that want to be cheaters and be on keyboard and mouse on the Xbox and PlayStation. I mean, that's all up to you. I mean, unless it's, you know, keyboard and mouse compatible, I'm not having no problem with that. But, you know, when people want to play keyboard and mouse on games that's not compatible with keyboard and mouse, that's where I have a problem. So uh, that won't be me. I don't have this. So I don't even care about this. Now, they have, there's an LED on the side of it. It switches with the profiles. So... You can turn it on, you can turn it off, you can have the brightness go up and down. I got my at the lowest brightness so I know it's on. And then they got button throttles, so button throttling with accidental ghost double presses. So this is, you know, so you won't double press on accident, which is cool. I mean, I could probably turn it up so then I won't accidentally press a button because I got heavy hand, you know, heavy handed people that just, ugh. And then you might want to, everybody needs to do this analog stick hardware calibration. It helps you with uh um your joint your, your thumbstick so it's for the thumbstick so the thumbstick can get calibrated correctly so you don't have you be you know holding forward and be going to the right a little bit so i will show you my buttons for pubg i'll be making another video how i'm progressing in pubg but you see the stick here this is the stick here you can change it from the xbox 360 analog stick analog joystick keyboard and then the xbox 360 analog stick and keyboard which is completely this these two and i think it's all for different games for PUBG, i i'm using this one because i found out using these two i can't drive so being that i can't drive because you got to hold w all the time on pc compared to you know on xbox you hold uh the right trigger to drive so you know you holding right trigger to drive is different than sitting there holding w forward and then, you know, that's forward, you're forward and you use D and Y, I mean, A and D to turn left and right instead of just holding trigger and then left and right on the left stick. So I had to figure that out, which I figured this out. This is the best way for me. If you want to copy my settings of what I did here, you go ahead. I have no problem with it, but this is then this is for the right stick. If you need right stick, if you have two of them, I've seen a Fortnite pro player have two of these, a left hand and a right hand, which is crazy. So, I mean, it's possible. So if I, you know, the time I wanted to just go straight in full, you know what I'm saying? Super uh, glove mode, you know what I'm saying? It'd be tight. So I'm going to cancel that. I mean, you got all the buttons you can choose from. Every button you see, if I'm clicking them, they all activate. And then you have a click. There's a click on the thumbstick, as you've seen in my unboxing video. You have a little thumbstick at the top. I haven't, I'll show you in, the, in one of my, uh, I'll zoom it in a minute. You have this. Uh, there's a thumbstick. 
and then you have this button right next to the thumbstick. I need to probably check that a little bit and then the click. I mean, other than that, I mean, all of them, you can, you know, set it up. It's comfortable. I mean, I got mine set how I want it so far until I play some more PUBG. You can go onboard memory or you can, you know, onboard memory is the memory on the device, but that's the application. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it over. So, I'm going to show you, I'm gonna try to do this two things at one time, but I, I guess I can better do it. So this is the thumbstick, me moving it. And you got these buttons here. You got all these buttons in here to use. All these buttons in here. Oh, I just accidentally closed it. Did all the F on accident. But you got these buttons here and these buttons up here and then button here. So, I mean, it's comfortable. You see how my hand just sits there? I use this for movement and then I got like, uh, it's just so comfortable. So, like I said, you plug it up. You see, there's the light I was talking about. The light is there. So, if you want to see the light, I mean, I know my camera is kind of fuzzy. I don't have no professional camera. So, until I get that going, we we sitting with the, you know, Logitech 9, 920. Blah, blah. But I think... I mean, if you have any other questions, just let me know. You know, my kids is having conversations, but, you know, it is what it is. But I think I did. Uh, like I said, I'll tell you, show you my continuation. I'll probably add some more videos of me playing on uh, with the controller. I got a video where I did get a, a good, nice kill with it. I'll have that in here after after this video. But, I mean, that's all I can say for now. So, it's your boy QB. I'm signing out. If you're new to the stream, hit the subscribe button. And if you're not... Hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. I mean, if you are, you leave me a comment down below. And let me know what you think. Um, if you got one, if you have any problems. I mean, I'm learning myself, so I'll try to help you the best way I can. This is all new to me. So me using it is, I mean, this thing is a great, it's a great deal. I mean, it's kind of, you know, it's expensive or whatever. But I felt like if you want to get in the key, uh, computer, you want to get in the PC and play keyboard and mouse, this is probably... The one of the comfortable pl things I've played with because I got carpal tunnel on my left wrist real bad. So, thank you for watching, man. Always stay positive and be blessed. Peace. Y'all better clip that one. Y'all better clip that one. <laughs>